Hey everybody, welcome to an all new episode of Adventures. How y'all doing? How you doing? Hope, hope everybody's doing real good. What's up, Mickey Munchies? What's up? Okay. It's uh, just gonna be Mickey Munchies and I today. Emma Bites, uh, she it's had to. She had to go to her job, her summer job. She was really busy. Uh, but we're at a at a new museum that we haven't explored before. So come along with us as we. Oh, there's Emma Bite. She got off of work early. Feels like I deserve a treat. What's up? A treat for being on good behavior. She got out of work, uh, out of the paparazzi behind us, right? The Daily Bugle early. Hello, Spider-Man. Hey, wait a minute. Get me pictures of Peter Parker now. Mr. Jameson, I'm not Spider-Man. Stop. Okay. Get out of here, Spider-Man. Go. Uh, come with us as we adventure through the Herd Museum in Phoenix, Arizona. Let's go. Hey. Floating mosaic. I mean, like, you would never think this is where it is. Like, how peaceful and quiet it is. Even though that's like cent Central Avenue right there. Like, behind us. It's like so quiet and calm. It's a trip. Let's go through the path, pathway here. There's a giant man, how you walking behind you, Emma. <laughs> She's a vlogger. That's awesome. Yeah, there you go. Just somewhere where we can see it. That works totally fine. Thank you. Thank you.
kids are probably like your age. And they just came and took them away from their mommies and their daddies. Because for the longest time, that government was fighting them to try to take their land. But they knew the land. So they were beating them. And then they decided, you know what, why don't we just educate them? Tell them like, hey, we could give you a better life. And then take their land. And that's what they did. So there's so many Native American people that were displaced that had their, their lands taken away from them. Yeah. That's why I have little kids like your age, these people. Isn't that sad? So little kids like your age, people just came and took took them away from their mamas and daddy. They cut off their beautiful hair to take away their identity. Hair is very important to Native Americans. And they cut off their hair to make them look more like them. So they don't so they forget who they are. You hear the scissors? That's what he looked like, and that's what they turned him into. So they cut off his hair, they took away all of his Native American um, clothes, and they put him in a suit. And if say somebody came to you and like took away your culture, that everything it, me and mommy taught you, and like said, no, that's not your culture anymore. That's your terrible, name is right? Your name is something else. How sad, right? So it's important to understand your heritage and your culture because in a minute it could be taken away from you. See it says the process of civilizing, erase and replace. So they erase who they were and they replace it with who they wanted them to be. I'm not much younger than you. their land away this was all their land and then, then it turned into this do you see a huge difference from a lot to none Small of a space, Emma? No, you can just turn on the stove if you have to. Light a fire. Wait for it to smolder and get hot before you can cook. Thanks for coming along with us to the Heard Museum. Um, it was a beautiful museum, a beautiful space, um, but uh, really difficult to to go through. Um, it's really sad to kind of visualize those things and see those things and to hear testimonies and to read testimonies and yeah. Um, this is definitely um, a place that every American should come to to really understand what being American is and the price 
you pay for being an American and the people that are the real Americans that don't get their time of day, their day in the sun, um, coming from, you know, both Mickey and I, our families are immigrants. We take the fact that our families are Americans very, very, we cherish that. Um, and it's really sad. It's really sad, but you know, it, it makes you put things into perspective and appreciate your family and what the struggles they've gone through and the people that have walked ahead of you before you have gone through. And it definitely is um, a must see for anybody in the area. Um, definitely come and check it out and really understand history and see it and feel it. So. What did you think about it, Emma? You might not want to come here if emotions get you emotional. Because it is really sad and it made me cry, so I don't want it to be me. Okay. I, I, I know it's uncomfortable sometimes, but I think it's important for everyone to know what happened, right? And to feel that to, uncomfortable. We have to learn from history so that we don't repeat it. Because it's better you feel uncomfortable now and then go back to your home and your comforts. And these, these poor people didn't have that opportunity. They had everything they knew taken away. So um, yeah, it's really sad, but um, it's a beautiful place beautiful pieces of art um, an amazing place to come and visit thank you to the herd museum for having us and uh, if you're in the area downtown Phoenix come through and visit it's beautiful one of a kind definitely yeah I'm not sure how many cities do this where the museums are free on the first Friday of the month but thankfully Phoenix is one of those cities that that participates in that so if it, if it n might not necessarily be a museum that you would pay to go to see because you're not sure about it, First Friday is a perfect time to go and experience a cultural center that you know, you're not too sure about. Um, we've, we've done a couple of these now and I mean every museum that we've gone to we've loved. Um, so it's a wonderful thing to kind of get, get, get you out into your city into your cultural centers and experience life through someone else's lens, really, essentially. Um, so yeah, definitely thanks mommy for finding this for us to come and visit. We had a great time, we hope you did too. Hope you enjoyed uh, coming along with us on this adventure. We will see you somewhere next time. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Oh.